What's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to download LSPDFR mod along with Natural Vision Evolve. Now I had a problem where my game would crash no matter what. As soon as I tried to load into this, uh, the single player mode, the game would just crash, it wouldn't start up. And I couldn't really find a lot of information online on how to fix this. So I took advice from every thread I could find and eventually it worked. But I wanted to uh, give you guys a tutorial today on how to get this to work because I was kind of, it, it took me a while to figure this out. So just bear with me, follow along, and uh, and we're gonna get it started. First and foremost, you're gonna need OpenIV. It's a software that allows you to kind of edit your Grand Theft Auto files. Once you've downloaded this, go ahead and go to Grand Theft Auto 5 and go to Windows. All right, now that we're here, we can, uh, we're gonna go to Tools, go to ASI Manager. And we're going to make sure that these three are installed. If it says to create a mods folder, go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and click yes. Click install. All right, we're good to go. The first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and download LSPDFR. The downloads to all of these files are going to be in the description of the video. So make sure you check that out if you don't uh, know what you're looking for. So we're gonna click next, we're gonna to go to I agree, leave this checked off, click next, and it's gonna, of course, be in your game directory. Uh, whatever that is, click browse. For most of you, it's, it's gonna be on your C drive or your D drive. Program file 64, Steam, Steam app is common, and then your Grand Theft Auto, the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder will be there. So go ahead and click install. We're gonna let all this extract. Okay, so we're going to leave that checked and click finish. This configuration right here is going to guide you. Just click next. You're going to click show license right here. And wait for this to pop up. We're going to click accept. And we're just going to click do it for me. There we go. LSPDFR has been successfully installed. So... I'll drag this right here, just so you guys can see what I've downloaded and what I haven't downloaded. Now, next you're gonna go to Natural Vision, and this is gonna be very important. So we're gonna go to Edit, click Yes. So you're gonna to wanna to go to Natural Vision Installer Part 1 once you've installed the files. Go ahead, click, hold, and drag this into your game directory. And of course, this is going to pop up. You're just going to click install and do mods folder. And click install. I've had an issue where it will get stuck on this installing. And really the only way I've been able to fix it, if it gets stuck for you guys, is to go into task manager in the open IV task and then just restart it and attempt this again. All right, so that took forever. Uh, one thing that worked for me was I just dragged these files onto the desktop. <laughs> so if that works for you, you know you can go ahead and try that. Uh, there's also an error where this will happen despite the fact that you're still in edit mode. Just go ahead and click out of edit mode and go back in if that happens and that will fix that issue. And we're gonna do part two now. So it's uh, MVE part two, click install, mods folder, you know how we do it. All right, so now that that's successfully installed, we uh, that's all for MVE. Now, there are add-ons that you can install, so uh, a couple of mine that I think are, are really worth installing is gonna be, of course, the Performance Booster. That's always a good thing, especially if you're on a lower-end computer. So just click Install. You're installing into the Mods folder, remember. It's gonna boost your FPS. And then we... Uh, Enhanced motion blur or not. Brighter emergency lights, uh, that, that is gonna be something that I actually do enjoy. So click out of edit, go back in. We're gonna go ahead and install that as well. Install into the mods folder, there we go. All right, we'll click close. Parallax is a must. Stupid shit. There we go.
I'm gonna click install, go to mods, install. That is really all for Natural Vision Evolved. Uh, there is LSPDFR compatibility patch. You do not need to use this folder. Your LSPDFR will work just fine without it. And personally, I never use it. Now for this next part, you're actually gonna go into your files. You are going to go wherever you stored your game into the game directory. So for mine, it's gonna be an easy store, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, we are going to, now that we've done Natural Vision Evolve, we are going to take uh, the pack limit file adjuster, pack file limit adjuster, I'm sorry. And you're gonna take these two uh, files right here and you're just gonna plug them bad boys right into your folder, into your Steam directory. All right, you've installed the pack files now. Very important, very important. So the heap adjuster is next. Double click that, drag these two files, click close. Drag these two files into your directory, just like that. Now you can close that, we've installed that. All right, so now once we've done that, we can actually close this, because the last thing that we're gonna need is gonna be open IV. And you're gonna go to update. Uh, that's gonna be update.rpf. It's gonna say the mods folder. Click show in mods folder, click whatever button is right here. So that's fine. And uh, we are going to go to common and we're gonna to go to data. Now for right here, we are going to open up the GTA 5 config and click close. We are going to use the GTA 5 config V32.5. We're gonna go into configs and this right here just depends on how, mu how many pedestrians you want in the world. I always use the stock version because I think Grand Theft Auto offers a lot of pedestrians. There's no reason to increase it. In my opinion, you could if you wanted to. So you're going to go into stock traffic and you're going to take this game uh, config file and you're going to plug it right up in here. And of course, the game config is going to be right there. So that's going to be that. And really, that's all you do. Now, to launch this game, you're going to go into your files. You are going to go wherever you downloaded uh, Grand Theft Auto file. Let me go to my Steam library, Steam apps, common. Grand Theft Auto 5 and we're actually going to launch the game from Rage plugin hook. So all we're going to do is we're just going to double click this and we are going to let Rage plugin hook do its thing. Click OK. Of course this is the first time installer so uh, you can do whatever you want with this. Uh, this is the console commands for this particular mod. Uh, plugins, load these plugins on startup that's fine. Yes. You don't want that. And I just, I really just leave all of this shit just completely how it is. And then you just click save and launch and click OK. All right, let's see if it worked. So this intro right here means that Natural Vision Evolved was successfully installed. If you're, get, if you're not getting this intro... Gonna do story mode with rage plugin hook.
let's check it out. So as you can see, there is some gloss on the car. Right off the bat, you can tell the reflections look a lot nicer. that the graphics are really looking good. Also, if uh, if you have these icons right here, that means LSPDFR was successfully installed. These are the police stations you can go to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this and it helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. If you did, please jump in the comments and, uh, and we can help you from there. So I appreciate you guys so much for watching. All right, see you.